Yeah. Back to remedy. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's Max. Welcome back to the channel. And basically today, I'm gonna be putting y'all on some method real quick. To watch to the end, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, please. Turn on the notification bell so YouTube actually sends you my notifications when I post a video. Anyway, enjoy. Let's get straight to the shit, though. I'm gonna be telling every single one of my viewers right now, whether you guys are fit, whether you guys are struggling, or you're on the, you know, on the come up right now, what actually changes when you lose the weight? So I started off, I weighed around 185 pounds. It was at the beginning of freshman year, so I'm actually going into junior year now. But freshman year, it was, it was rough, bro. It was rough. For all the people who don't know, I actually used to go to the gym for a period of time, but then I quit and stopped because of this one pill. Now, I'm not trying to blame all my issues on one thing, but I definitely noticed that this pill just like killed me inside. I let myself loose. Like it was a common conversation my friends brought up to me. It was Accutane. So if you don't know what Accutane does, this sh can literally get you depressed. It can do so much stuff for you, all for the cost of acne. It's like you win, you get rid of the skin, at what cost, you know? Anyway though, that period of time in my life was really rough for me. And I almost like, I almost made some really dumb choices because of that, but I'm so happy that I decided to, you know, make a change and get to where I am now. I mean, do we look a lot better? The lighting's not the best out here, but there's definitely more muscle on me than there was back then. But for what actually changes? First off, confidence. If you understand what it's like to be a fat ass, then you understand that what you look like right now is infinitely times better than what you used to look like. And when you appreciate that, it's a lot better. There's some really good looking people out there who think they're ugly because they've never, they've never seen what ugly looks like. If you have been like in this terrible condition before, you understand that it's not pretty, right? And when you know, you make the change over who knows how long, six months, it can take six months. That's not that much time. Right now, if you're in a bad shape and you think six months, that's a long time. But I'm telling you like, bro, six months can fly by. All right, and you look in the mirror now, you see that you look more toned, facial structures like you know, popping out. Like mine's like, sorry, genetically you'll notice that there's an improvement there. You've seen worse and now you can see better. You can't appreciate sweet without the sour, you know what I mean? So self-appreciation goes up no matter what. Even if you aren't fully satisfied, you get somewhat a good amount of gratification, which is great. Another thing though is that, no, I started really caring about what I ate. Like I can't go a single day without checking the back of something and be like, damn, I can't eat that. It's just, it just happens. Uh, Excuse me. But that's fine though. That's normal. You're just being cautious. But most people will look at you and they'll see that you're reading out labels and like, bro, are you crazy? Like, what are you doing? They don't, they don't understand what you've been through, bro. Like it's, it's been rough. But my personal take on that is, you know, you don't really want to look too much at like, you know, what it is. Understand you look at it and you're like, I said this so many times. Yo, will this make me fat right here? Will I, will I get fat if I eat this every day for like three months? And if the answer is yes, I probably wouldn't take it. That's just a general rule of mine though. Another thing I noticed, this answer is definitely gonna please some of your ears, all right? And that's that people just respect you more, all right? Usually on the bulk when you got some more muscles and they pop through your shirt more, all right? You're gonna notice that people probably respect you a little more because you look disciplined, you know? You don't look like you just, you know, half ass because it takes a good amount to, you know, get some pecs going on. Or if you're a girl too, you can definitely have like muscular shape and you just look like, you look more confident. You look like you care about what you look like. It's everything rates higher. It's awesome. But I don't think that should be your main reason to do it. I feel like if you work out for the way other people look at you, you are going to fall into a really bad mental state where you can't help yourself, but literally just do everything for other people. And I don't want anyone to do that. I was like that for a first like good period of time, you know, cause obviously no journey is perfect. No journey is going to have like a linear line up. That's not possible. And for the first four to five months, I just did everything to like have people's approval. I couldn't stop talking about that. It's like a joke, you know, people like notice like, dude, you talk about the gym so much. We're like, yes, if that's all my life was. I'm not going to add too much though. Just understand people will see the change. The last thing I'll tell y'all though, is that you will never feel perfect, all right? Even after you lose the weight, you might have people coming up to you telling you that you look great, which I appreciate anyone who does. And when you lose weight and you have people come up to you, you'll appreciate them so much. But this is like a you thing, all right? This is not anyone's fault, it's just me. And if you escape this, holy shit, you are like mentally ahead of everyone. Yo. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it sounded like someone just farted. Anyway, body issues, right? Can you spot what my biggest insecurity is? If you can, then I'm really proud of you. Otherwise though, it's that I have a chest gap. And I've, <laughs> it's so weird talking about my own insecurities on camera, but I don't like the way my nipples look, okay? It's me thing. But I'm not gonna let that be the reason I don't go to the gym. Like I'm just going to keep on going. That's not gonna stop me. So don't let those little things stop you. Because look, I just showed my viewers, all right? I bet you more than half the people couldn't even see that. Even if that's not enough for you to stop worrying, understand at least. Anyway though, thank you so much for watching the video today. This one I had to get a lot off my mind. I'm trying to get better videos out for you, but it's a little bit of a challenge to get this one video. I keep on hyping up. Like my past two to three videos, I'm like, yo, I got this banger idea coming up, but it never comes out. So just be patient with me. I'll get it out soon. See y'all later.